It was also in those high school years that I began spending most of my time in museums, the Metropolitan Museum perhaps the most, um, because of the way in which this museum allowed me a real sense of the possibility of art and what the physical space of a museum could be and mean for the understanding of art through the world, through culture, through time. And it really became clear to me at 15 years old that I wanted to work in museums for the rest of my life. This was also a time, of course, when the art world was transforming itself, and in Soho, downtown, there were galleries bursting with new art, contemporary art, new ideas about what art was and could be, and there were many artists of that period, but for me, very compelling and important was Jean-Michel Basquiat as I understood his work, but began to see myself committed to thinking about living artists. I also spent a lot of time during those high school years. My school was on 77th Street and 3rd Avenue, and the Whitney Museum at that time was on Madison Avenue and 75th Street. And I really went to the Whitney on my way after school before I went to the Met, where by the time I was in senior year, I had an internship and was working every day. And I went to college expressly to become a curator in a museum in New York City. <laughs> 